Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Let's Play Civ 6. I apologize for my voice sounding a little froggy. I am feeling pretty under the weather. But the internet waits for no man. I mean, it's actually it'd be fine. If I didn't post a video today, nothing bad would happen at all. But I want to, so here we are. Alright, I think we're in a pretty good position to win a science victory, but it is going to take an awfully long time. Let's see if we can't speed it, speed it up a little bit, right, by maybe taking some uh, some more really well-developed cities for people. Uh, we need entertainment complexes. We're working on it. We need just, like, a larger group of luxuries so that we have more amenities. And we need all of the other players, as long as we're wishing here. Uh, we need all of the other players to concede and also send me an email about how I'm so much better than them. Something tells me I won't be getting it. Okay, uh, so we have movement points on everybody. Are we ready to go? Not... Yeah, okay, let's do it. I did, I did end up waiting, you know, hitting end turn again because a lot of my units actually did not have all their movement points up here on the border. Yeah, the the penalty for a holy war, the warmonger penalty, really isn't that bad. All right, so let us roll this up here. Unfortunately, can't fire the thing this turn. Wait, 62 plus 4 versus civilizations following another religion. Why am I not getting my crusade bonus here? Okay, there, it, it probably would have given it to me. It just wasn't showing it. Or, wait a minute. No, because this guy took way less damage. I'm wondering if maybe... If maybe it's calculating the combat strength when you start the move and not when you... Make the actual attack? Huh. But it kind of looks like it in the, the difference in how much damage we dealt there. Oh, this guy probably should have moved in. Whatever, he's fine. So they might ride that knight out on our uh, artillery, but we actually do have 58 melee strength, so we'll be fine. And I imagine that the artillery is just going to obliterate that city's walls. What? Ignore. I'm not going to assuage you because you're freaking out about... Like, you, you can see what my units are doing. You know, what, you know what's happening here. Also, I am totally going to declare war on her after this, so... Alright, let's not go pillaging anything. Stuff's all about to be mined soon. Let's have it in working condition, shall we? Okay, so we do still need to get a, uh, a city going out here. Wow, my unit... Uh the upkeep cost for my army is more than the upkeep cost for all my buildings. Well, it'll be fine. This is a pretty slow drain and we'll be able to figure it out. I'm ignoring everybody being a huge idiot. We are not currently receiving huge idiot messages. Uh, that swordsman is doing a remarkably good job. Yeah, wow, this uh, this artillery is well matched against the enemies of this era. All right, how do I keep the city? Three districts present. What do we got? An industrial zone, a commercial hub, and a holy site. Cool. And it's already my religion. Uh, 
I guess work on a temple. So she has a... Egypt has a couple of cities up here, then. No. Yeah, screw that guy. We might be able to take... Actually, Pokrovka uh, looks like it doesn't have much better defenses than the city we just took. If we can get our artillery up there relatively quickly, we might be able to take it. If that would be lovely. Another player's theory. capital is uh, usually pretty powerful. Yeah, we can see a couple of wonders. Look at all these districts. Let's have a look around. I don't know exactly how many cities she has or anything. There's another one right over here. My cup. Which would be easy enough to take as well. Something else up here. It does kind of suck that these guys don't have the, uh... Don't have the free healing thing. I miss it. I don't know how much this man look. He's actually helping by coming along, but he's coming along. Uh, you are fine where you are. I can't believe what a bad job our doing our Mamluk is doing against the spearmen. Right, did we clear them out? I think that was all. So we have a number of cities that aren't like really happy. How unhappy though? Minus one? I don't think minus one is so bad. Who is the suzerain of Hong Kong? Nobody. Somebody just tied me. That's not a big deal. Alright, let's do our best to get everybody up in attack range here. Ooh, a theater square. My empire doesn't really believe in culture, so that'll be a nice change. <clears throat> We're basically just waiting for this thing to come up. Uh, we could buy turtle missionaries in this city. Try to push their, uh, their city into our religion. How many of Pokrovka's citizens are Zoroastrians? I wish this was in some kind of sensible order. Oh, uh... Cities containing my religions... Do I have anybody in Pokrovka? Because I can't get a readout on it, I think. Oh no, here it is. Okay, 16, yeah, I can, I can indeed see it. Even if I don't have any of it. Well, 16 is not a number that I think I'm going to be able to overcome with a couple of missionaries. Not in time. It's probably not worth it. Let's just have a look around. Oh, hey. Look the Hanging Gardens. There's some nice stuff out here. This Egypt is really inconvenient here. China. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'll take that deal. Gypsum is a luxury I don't have yet, so that'll help a little bit with my approval. Or a little bit with my uh, amenities. So. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Uh, I don't know that we. Yeah, we don't care about any of that. 
keep researching. There's so much open territory on both sides of this little strip of forest, and Egypt owns all of it. I can't believe you need help with this. How embarrassing. Oh, did something just obsolete? Hmm. What did we have here? I don't even remember. Well... I'm looking at these, and none of them are blowing me away. How do we move caravanseries up to here and place inspiration in that? How about that? Let's get great scientists even more effectively. We're actually getting out great scientists in a little bit here. Thirty-seven turns. That's ridiculous. Rebuild the whole damn district. Oh, you got me. Fourteen. He almost didn't, uh... Almost healed that off right away. So... I don't really want to do anything with these, I don't think. I don't think Hong Kong's suzerain bonus is worth putting anything toward. Yeah, we'll just hold them. Wait until they're needed. Right away? <laughs> so those guys can stay and defend the back line. This guy should go up toward the front. I'm sure the two of them combined should be sufficient. Ordinarily, you don't want to attack a city across a river. Fighting across a river is kind of, uh, kind of rough. Oh, hey! She's building Rur Valley. I wonder how long that's going to take, because we... No innovation in the past. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting her finish it. <laughs> Rur Valley is a wonderful, wonderful wonder. Uh, yeah... So our money problem was temporary, apparently, somehow. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, wow, the barbarian spawns are non-stop. We're getting a camp like every two turns. Our city... Uh, bombard damage is high enough that we're instantly killing the scouts now. Which obviously helps. So, I guess this is the turn we move in on. Pokrovka. I don't actually want to wait. Wow, this is a good city. Signe is a 250 oh. square. Alright, okay. Get all excited there, Sean. Okay, I'll take that. And you... We want to be careful. We don't want to sit in range of this, uh, this encampment. I don't know which city the encampment belongs to. Is there a way to see that? Yeah, okay. Owner of Scythia Pokrovka. So that'll be Andy. <laughs> She's having the same barbarian issues I am. So 
So it's interesting that you get that when uh, when you kill their apostles, because it's not actually increasing my religion. It's just decreasing hers. She should probably not view that as my proselytizers being present. Right, we'll just burn down the defenses with the range units. I'm not too worried about the city's health. We don't need to get it in a proper siege. Okay, we're good on trade units. We have the last trader building. Yeah, let's make a spy. I think it's worth having a spy. We can check out other people's stuff, sabotage their victory conditions. Aw. I was really hoping it was going to be Rear Valley. There's not really a good way to tell how much it's built. It looks pretty done. Whoa. Alright, you do not want to be zoomed in that far when the game decides that it's time to jerk your camera back and forth erratically. Right, I can't believe those knights survived that. Right, we'll eat a turn of bombardment here, I guess. Ooh, anti-tank crews. That's... that's not great for me. We can try to get peace after they lose their capital. I don't need to take all of their stuff. But taking away the holy city of their religion will be nice. I'm going to build the arena. The arena doesn't project amenities out to the other cities, uh, but it is required for the building that does. Plus, after we take Pokrovka, I'm going to want to stop being at war for a little while and let my uh, war weariness crawl down anyway. Sure, that's not like a great amount of gold, but... A recent news article revealed a thing that I did. Thanks, news article. We'll just take that, thank you. Well, as long as I'm getting bombarded anyway, I may as well go here and put the city in siege mode. What are we on? A farm? So I could go to full, yeah. Why not? Alright, yeah, we really need to really need to get rid of this war weariness. Well this turn the walls will go down. I'll feel a lot more comfortable attacking the city proper. Oh, never mind. We're never going to stop being at war because the the AIs are going to do that thing where they take turns declaring war on me. Oh, she's probably not going to want to cede her capital, though. Well, whatever. It looks like there's no way out of the war anyway, so... There's no way for me to not be at war. Alright, the field cannon is leveling up. That's cool. Artillery is quite close to leveling up. Alright, Krovka no longer has... Oh no, it still does have walls. What the hell? I really, really did not think that was going to be the case. Okay, let's kill a couple of units here. The Watt is pillaged, but it's not so pillaged that we'll consider building something else in its place, you understand. Uh, so China declared war on me. They have a city here that we could take. Where's that artillery that I built in Baghdad? And then tried to send to the front. It should be... here it is. And then in Rocket Debt, we'll buy a melee unit. Okay, yeah. We'll take Changsha, and then we'll, uh, I'm sure, see an end to the war. All of a sudden, their hunger for, uh, for battle will cease. Uh, 
Yeah, we need housing. Sewers take forever to build, man. Also, it'll be good to have a couple of military units over here, you know, because of the fact that rebels could spawn at any moment. I can't believe they managed to keep their walls up. I don't know why the AI thinks I want to hear from them every turn. Oh my god, does he seriously still have walls? Four. He has four points of walls. Well, let's take the promotion. Expert crew is a big deal. That really, really increases his effectiveness. And we can't, we cannot attack with our melee units into even a single point of walls, it looks like. It's really, uh, pretty devastating. I'm sorry, are you going to attack me with chariots? Is this, this is your play? Here? The chariots? What do you mean, major victory? <sighs> He's got a... Sorry, this is... <laughs> this is two heavy chariots. Pardon me. Alright, are there any more barbarian camps over here? No, these units can actually rest a little bit. Oh, we still haven't built the damn... <sighs> Keep forgetting. Still haven't built the thing. The city, to get the oil. Alright, well this is going to finally, and for certain, wipe out those walls. Yeah, the city's garrison defense strength is just really high. There's not a lot my melee troops can do aside from holding it down like this. Alright, uh, rest. Everybody chill. Yes, yes, I know. Nobody likes me. So it'd probably be better just to buy a settler at this point. Since I keep forgetting. 640? Really? Wow. It's expensive. Nope. I'm not even looking at the terms of that deal because I'm sure it did not include me having Pokrovka. So this should, uh, yeah, this should be very significant. It has 31 health left. And it looks like my, my poor horseman would not deal very much damage at all. Really, only 50. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, this city's at its housing cap, so we may as well buy the settler here. Alright, this turn will be the turn. 33 damage from that city center. That city center, like, this city has a 75 garrison strength and is not doing nearly as much damage nor surviving nearly as well as that theoretically much smaller Chinese city. And th I think the problem, really... What do we get? Oh, a builder. Cool. I, the problem, really, is that there's not... Uh, garrison defense strength is not the only number. There's also a bombard strength that the city has that is not shown to you in any way. It drives me crazy. There's so many things that aren't made visible to the player. There's no good reason for the for the game to function that way. Well, my artillery is going to die if it gets hit again, so we have to move it out of range and heal it. All right, let's see if she'll make a peace deal in which she cedes her capital to us. I doubt that we're going to get this easily. Oh, she will do that. 
Give me all your money. And I want all your luxuries. What about another city? Wait. Doesn't this remove her from the game? She gives me four cities? <laughs> I mean, she's really worried, as she should be. Uh, let's be friends. Cool. Whatever, I'm not going to worry about that. No, that doesn't remove it, right? She can't trade her capital away. Her capital is a new city, but so I got two extra cities out of that, though. Where even are... Oh, one of them is over here. Crazy. Okay, so that pretty much removes her from the religion game, though, right? She lost a lot of her holy sites. We gained the ability to make a couple of new trade units. Oh no, we have one building already. We had one building already, so. Uh, go ahead and do this. Temple, please. Yeah, this effectively removes her religion from the game, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Which is nice. Uh, this city actually needs a builder more than anything. Do I want to send a... I'll send one envoy to Kumasi. Right, let's find out where this camp is. I placed one envoy. Alright, we should come over here and deal with that, obviously. Okay, so now we've crippled two players essentially out of the game. China's at war with us, but I don't know how much, um, really materially they're willing to commit to that. We definitely want to bring our troops down here, though. They just attacked my... They attacked my artillery with a, uh, with a scout. We are not worse than Sophis. I am better at war than you are. Take that. Vessels large may venture. Whose city is this? Oh, this looks like another Egyptian border. Alright, this cavalry unit leveled up. This guy apparently needs to get back down here. I'll be relocating a lot of my military units back down this way. We'll leave the field cannon and this cavalry to deal with the barbarian issue. You can fix that thing we pillaged. Sorry about that. Uh, what do I want to do here? I can't get away from him. He's faster than I am. And I can't fall back while firing because I can't move and then fire, so... I think this was our best option, but it's not a very good option, certainly. Alright, now that we're no longer at war, our amenities seem to have recovered instantly. We really didn't have very much war weariness, I guess. There is nothing but a plank. Okay, we gotta get our money problem under control. When we make these new trade routes, some of them are gonna have to be external. So it looks like her empire is pretty well managed. This city has a lot of unimproved stuff.
So I do need to uh, I do need to get some military units or some military units, some religious units up there to fix this area. Once we once we manage to basically crush the Zoroastrianism, it will be very difficult for it to return. What with her not really having access to holy sites anymore. People can have the Model T in any. Also have to fall back and heal. Oh, wait a second. Offshore wells are on a different technology. Shoot. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll uh I need the ability to make tanks. Science victory is cool and all, but, you know, there's still violence to be done. We're just taking a little break. So, we need to take away three more players' capitals if we want to win a military victory. But that means finding them. I don't actually know where Spain, China, and Greece's capitals are. We have a technological advantage, but... Well, I mean, sort of. We have a technological advantage. I am seeing anti-tank crews and the stuff. The four characteristics of humanism are curiosity, a free mind... Uh, I don't think we want to change anything there. Let's go ahead and buy that meeting house. And we may as well put that back together. Uh, let's repair the water mill for sure. There's a lot of wheat in this city. Uh, you go to sleep until we have plastics. I was expecting this barbarian clearing operation to be, like, pretty straightforward. We're spawning an annoying number of units. Alright, we need gold. What's gonna give us the most gold? Eight gold to Zaragoza. Nine to Nanmadal. That's probably not better than getting eight plus all this stuff, though. But you know, a nice short-range route here. We can just be friends now, honestly. I'm okay with that. Uh... Wait, where are you going? How is that? Oh, there's a one space wide thing here, and fucking Spain parked a unit in it. And Cool Oba is one space too far to the southwest for me to purchase this tile. I can buy that tile, but I can't stop Egypt from just cutting my country in half with their country. Actually, we're not even out of the war. It's interesting, the war weariness dried up entirely. Despite the fact that we're not even at war. So going to peace with, uh... Going to peace with Scythia had an effect on our war weariness. That's interesting. I thought war weariness kept going as long as you were in any war. Yep, just keep being tough. Yeah, wow, that's a pretty good route. And the AI just builds so much better cities than I do. Uh, it would only be six turns to build an armory, which is plus two production for the whole city. It seems pretty good. But we have to give you... Come back here. You need very different orders than that. Entic ninja who... I almost want to wipe her out just because she keeps calling my army weak. That is objectively not true. I can show you that. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take that deal. I don't really want to be at war with you, and I do want all your money. Alright, so we captured somebody's spy. I don't really care. If they give me a good offer to, uh, 
return them, probably will do it. Okay, so hold on. What did we get here? What is this? Oh, that's the Potala Palace. So did that... No, I guess it just it creates the extra slot when you create it, and then that slot stays with you even if you lose the palace. That is not how I would have designed it, but it's fine. Doesn't seem bad. Alright, we're all healed up and ready to help. I'm really glad that I turned on the uh, quick combat, by the way. So we didn't uh, gain any sources of oil over here, did we? No. Hey, a great merchant. Grants in oil. And your trade routes each gain plus two gold for each strategic resource improved by the destination city. That's interesting. I love Grants One Oil. That's awesome. Alright, so... Not my cities, but their cities. What can we do? Ooh. Yeah, let's go for stealing a tech boost. She's gonna hate me forever no matter what because we have one of her cities. So I'm not too concerned about upsetting her. Alright, so now we have an oil and we can upgrade our Mamluks. How many Mamluks do I actually have left? Two. This one and... 460 gold, okay. I'm honestly just going to station this guy in this city. We need somebody to be nearby in case of barbarians. I just say, I was not expecting Scythia to be so scared of me that they would trade away their entire country at the end of the war. Alright, good work there. We can uh, trade internally a little bit now. Uh, Cadiz needs to... I, can we get this tile? One, two, three. Oh no, wait, I already own that tile. There we go. That's where I want to build my campus. <sighs> Plus four. That'll be good for the Madrasa. Do we want to try Changsha again? Oh no, wait, that's right, we made peace. Officially, we're not at war with anybody. What do I do? I've It's been so long, I've forgotten how to not be at war with everyone. Well, we could take Changsha, but if we did, I don't... Like, it's not even a good city. That's the thing that's frustrating about it, is I don't even want his dumb city. Also, I, hold on a second. There was one tile of desert here, so she built Petra. Is that right? Like, there's not a single tile of desert anywhere else in the city? This is what I was talking about. The AI doesn't... They just do stuff. They don't even know why. Alright, anyway. Uh... You need as much industry as you can get. So we have a couple of three industry options. Run it to cool out Oba because there's slightly more money to be made there. So do we want to declare war on somebody? Basically is the, the question is, is it worth like trying to take Zaragoza? Zaragoza is a pretty powerful city. It's got 15 population. It's got a luxury I don't have yet, right? Do I have diamonds? Oh no, I do now. 
still, 15 population. A uh, commercial hub, a holy site. Alright, let's see if we can uh, maybe convert a couple of these cities over here. I'm also going to buy a missionary. I, I'm hoping to get lucky with the Apostle and get like Translator or Proselytizer, but I also just want to get bulk convert charges. So our units are a little bit better than the Conquistadors now, uh, especially if we manage to actually upgrade some of them. Plus, declaring war on Spain will allow us to clear out this damn Conquistador. Yeah, he's 100% going to know what's up, and I don't care. Right, he has his own artillery. But if we convert Zaragoza, I'm sure we'll be able to take it. So before any war can happen. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> she was really willing to uh, throw away that gifting idea pretty quickly. I don't get what she's mad at me that uh, that line about Sophis, I thought, was what she said to you when you uh, I was usually opposed. Uh, I thought was what she said to you when you weren't being aggressive enough, but that's definitely not the case. So what, what do you have available? Okay, Orator's not bad. So let's move you a little bit before we pop the charge. Okay, he still will have uh, a little bit of movement left over. There we go. We can move him this far and still promote him. Gonna obviously slaughter this conquistador in the moment the uh, the moment the war is declared. We're gonna try really hard to convert this city first, though. All right, I think that we're all clear over here has shown me another source of oil, although I guess I don't need one anymore because Rockefeller brought me a big supply of oil. That is a barbarian caravel. Would somebody please handle this nonsense? Alright, we got plastics in one turn. Uh, we got the enlightenment this turn, so I may want to change up my uh, policy cards. So what makes sense for us now? This actually might be interesting. We have a lot of cities that are not on our original continent, I believe. Press gangs isn't that important. Civil engineering does give uh, does give us some fortification strength. Nationalism is where we get the ability to uh, merge our units together. So I think that's where we're going to go. That's a direct military upgrade. Huh. That's weird. Alright, I don't see any more camps over here. Somebody's got to deal with this camp, though. Alright, now we have plastics, we can get our second source of oil, and now we'll be able to just build tanks anywhere. Although I don't... I don't actually even know off the top of my head what the combat strength of a tank is. Uh, this will not be happening. Hmm. That's a really bad deal, but we have so many sources of marble that I'm... We're able to trade one to each player, no matter how much they don't like us. You know, it's better than what on earth are you talking about? I've, I've seriously been at war for almost the entire game. Very, very brief breaks. 
since you've known since you've known me, I've been at war almost that entire time. Nothing on okay. this earth lasts forever. Let's try to try to get this uh to get these people to understand the greatness of turtles. And we should be able to get that. You still don't have a madrasa somehow? Honestly, at this point, it's worth just faith purchasing it. Oh, we have Jesuit education. That's right. That's why I can purchase the madrasas with faith in the first place. Well, you know what? The city takes forever to build anything. <laughs> Let's just get that done. And then... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. That hits Kyra. I don't know how that happened. I guess... Have I seen them build battering rams, the actual barbarians? It might... It can't be captured, right? If you move a military unit onto an enemy support unit, it just kills the support unit. Oh, you were supposed to do this. Gorgo has constructed Alhambra. I'm kind of surprised that building an oil, uh, an oil derrick out in the sea isn't the boost for something. Alright, turtles. I guess we'll just push deeper into his territory. The more of his cities we convert, the uh, easier it'll be to... Hey, look at that. It's his capital. Uh, I was going to say, the more of his cities we convert, the easier it'll be to uh, take his whole country over. So if you're noticing the little ruins that we're seeing on the map, those are antiquity sites. We don't yet have the civic that lets us see them as an actual resource, but we can still... Like, they're still visibly on the map. I think the moment any player reveals them. They become actually visible to everybody. Alright, we're almost there. <laughs> we built our road around the camp. That's how long it's been around. Alright, so we see a capital here. It's in a nice spot, too. Actually, if we could take both of these cities, I'd be really happy about that. Yep, those barbarians are doing exactly the thing that I was worried about them doing. Uh, we have no real... Uh, this is actually pretty good, the Kamasi bonus. Unfortunately, we'd have to commit six more envoys there in order to get it. So, we don't declare until we have Madrid converted, right? Because otherwise our religious units are just going to die. What else does this guy need to do? This is the the city's purpose for existing has been fulfilled. So what else can we do with this guy? We get these fish. Well, we might want to produce an actual naval unit around here somewhere just to protect us from uh, the barbarians that we know are running around on the sea. Yeah, she's never gonna like us because we have uh, we have our capital. Scythia has used an AT crew to clear a barbarian outpost. I bet that was very effective. 
If your actions inspire other Sorry, what did my city just got attacked by that barbarian horseman? Uh, let us gain sources. Nice wholesome religion, like turtles. I am surprised by this. That's a gutsy play. Alright, well, we're gonna declare war on Spain in a second, and we need to uh, make sure that this city is well defended. I wonder if I should maybe purchase a, uh, like a bombard here, an artillery unit. Yeah, let's do it. That city's pretty small and weak. We might be able to, uh, might be able to take them. It says 80 melee strength. It's pretty good. Oh, and we'll get our crusade bonus because Bilbao in the middle of Turtle Land has, of course, converted to turtles. Don't we all wish that we could convert to turtles? Rocketette's not uh, not believing in turtles anymore. I think its population has grown too quickly, or something. I don't think it got profit bombed or anything. Uh, I don't want to build a synagogue. I want to wait until. We have access to the right stuff, the right religious building. So this guy needs to get out of this country. Oh, hello. I wasn't really expecting another Spanish city to be down here. Okay, so maybe we declare war on Spain uh, after converting that city? Because it has units in it. If I convert, my prophet's going to die. Or my uh, apostle's going to die immediately. This gives me a turn to get these guys into position to attack Bilbao, too. We can be right here when the uh, attack happens. This is a flat tile? Yeah, it's just grassland. So we can we can fire an artillery shot the key to turn the war is declared. Okay, she was gonna build Burr Valley. Is it feasible to do that still? Ooh, it's a long build. It's an extremely good wonder. But that's a long build. Yeah, go for it. I'll deal with that in a second. Uh, we need to get this religion back. Yeah, go ahead and repair that. Uh, we could just build a mine. That's not a terrible play. Honestly, we probably, probably will do that. Why would you build a city here instead of building it here? Or like here even. It seems very odd to me. <laughs> Egypt has military units on like every tile of their land. Nobody's impressed, Egypt. Huh. Why is there... What is that? What's the story with that? Uh, you legitimately don't have anything to do for a moment. I guess just chill in Cairo? 
become a tank? No, we don't want to. That's all of our gold. Oh, he bought this tile. That's I should have bought it when I saw that it was open, actually. That's my bad. Hey, there's a city-state just to the south of that city. Oh, I guess our, our uh, apostle's used up. We should declare. Yeah, we have infinite, uh, infinite Cassus Belli against everybody because of all of the uh, denunciations. Human nature, as manif. All right, do I want to uh, merge my units together? Let's have this guy come over here and meet this uh, scientific city-state. Oh, whatever. Just build your build your thing. We got other stuff to do with the faith. <clears throat> so that takes us toward urbanization. Somewhere. Yeah, Space Race, I guess, is the next thing that we're interested in. And I don't really think it matters too much how stuff comes together prior to that. But let's, uh, let's have a look at our uh, campus here and make sure. So I like 100 plus 100% science from campus buildings. It's a little bit of a bummer in that it will reduce our faith. But it's, yeah, it's going to be a significant increase in our science per turn. And I don't know that we want to change anything else. Uh, actually, industrial and modern melee and ranged units. Oh, national identity is a good one. We're not actually building a lot of units anyway, so I don't, I don't feel too bad about losing the production card. All right, so do I want to do any merging together? Like we could, uh, we could make cavalry corps and stuff. There is little man has made. So we're gonna be going up against sixty-seven strength cities. Actually, I think this is a good idea. Next turn, we'll declare on uh, on Spain. I want to have that unit actually have its movement available. Of course, there's a conquistador over here for no reason at all. That's a little annoying. All right, what is Hattusa's actual bonus? That's okay. But obviously, uh, plus two science in every campus district is significant. Okay, 261. I was going to say, did we actually gain anything from that, that card change? But yeah. Yes, we certainly did. Alright, it's time for yet more violence. Your cities want to be a part of my empire. I know this because of my religion or something. I'm not sure what the, like, proper excuse for the Crusades was. Uh, this is a little unfortunate in that, you know, this is kind of awkward. Why don't you maybe build some walls? We can buy uh, a unit there maybe. Oh, we only have 475 gold though. Oh, I declared and then didn't, like, use all my units to attack. I was so... so caught up in other things. If you can walk I miss away alert from... mode. I can see that we're going to have to convert Zoroastrianism out of these cities. But we'll never be safe.
Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna make this a tank. Okay, well, the Conquistador is not bum rushing our city. I mean, it probably would not be a very wise idea. Alright, so I don't know. Saragossa lost the religion. Damn it. Okay, so we have to we have to buy some religious units to send them in here, because we really need the city to believe in turtles. Do I want to spend for the apostle in the hopes of getting a good upgrade, or do I just want to roll with the missionary? Let's actually buy one of each. The Apostle will go north to deal with Scythia. Okay. I would like to ignore all such requests in the future. Can we maybe do that? Huh. Let's pick up plus combat strength when defending because we want the upgrade that comes after it. Move that way. 63%? It's not awesome, but go for it. You can't get your uh, chance of success any higher than that, so. Alright, uh, what do I even want to do with this, with this guy? I guess build a mine or something? We can try to get that tile. Stealing the boost to plastics. That's a pretty good boost. Okay. Nope. Not into gift giving. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have Scythia be our friend. We don't. They're kind of like Egypt in that we probably don't ever have to worry about them again. Although Egypt is kind of a. They're, ra they're rattling an have awful you seen lot of savings. Non-market economy. I suddenly understood much better what I want. Okay, so our plus two gold on each trade route policy just went obsolete for this much better policy. 400 science for each rainforest tile here or adjacent. We don't have a large rainforest, really. This tile would get... Wait, I thought Pantanal was a rainforest. Oh, it appears it's marsh. Okay. Oh no, there's a pretty good ra sized rainforest over here. Okay, we're going to rebase you to Damascus. Hell yes, factory. Oh, I should, uh, yeah, what is your... These are not very good upgrades. That's a shame. Well, we have to convert this city. If we can, if we can turn that city away from her religion, then we'll uh, be all set. Because that is the only city that is not owned by us. I guess that's not true. Um, Egypt could still produce their units or their religion as well, and totally would just to mess with me. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Try to ride down as many of these guys as possible. Are you on a farm? You are not. I'm not sure what you get for pillaging that. We'll be over here and have you pillage a farm, regain all your health. Alright, here come the first tanks of the, uh, of the game, as far as I'm aware. There are anti-tank crews, usually, before there are tanks. Yeah, okay, Lumber Mill seems fine. Okay, so we're not taking a lot of damage from the city's bombardment. It is not actually it does not actually have a super high bombard strength. So 
Science owes more to the steam engine. Right, so we discovered some coal. Oh wow, that's convenient. We'd already built a mine on that one. Hell yeah, let's run over a slinger with a tank. <laughs> that feels like overkill, maybe. Very slightly. Alright, take that promotion. Here comes the artillery. We actually probably want to be on this side. It's one thing for the tank to maybe get bombarded, it's quite a different thing for the cavalry to get it. Alright. Nothing fancy, just hitting them with our religion. We should um, try to convert P Pokrovka as well, actually. We do the same buy here. That way I can buy units in Pokrovka to uh, push our religion a little more. Did I completely forget to come over here and turn the city into turtle worship again? I think I did. Let's get these factories going. Okay, so you need to come, like, right here. Yeah, wow, that's perfect. how much damage we take. 12. Oh, that was the artillery, not the uh, encampment. No, the encampment didn't do much better. Alright, so this artillery moves to here next turn, and then the turn after moves to here and immediately fires. Catch him off guard a little bit. That really is minor wall damage. What does this one have? Pilgrim. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna have himself a little pilgrimage. Over to the Pontinal. Right, this will be a lot easier if the city converts. So Baghdad has wow. The uh the extra gold from that great person bonus is pretty serious. We don't really have to have any external trade routes anymore. Okay, we managed to get her religion out of the city at least. I think this is better than, uh, than pasturing the other horses. The city needs more food, more than it needs more production. I think we actually have a number of uh, strong production tiles there already. Greece hit the modern era. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, let's... Uh... There we go. Are you close enough to get that crusade bonus? Yes. Good. Uh, I think this guy has to back off. So as not to get murdered. turtles. You know you love turtles. Everybody loves turtles. Uh, do I want to put down an industrial zone even? I don't think an aerodrome is going to be useful. The city's too far away from ending the action. 
commercial hub would be pretty good. We, we are definitely not running all of the valuable trade routes yet. Uh, let's make an industrial zone. Uh, this ought to be pretty good. A world without radio. When you launch a rocket. All right. So now what? Well, we can get helicopters. Screw tanks, let's get helicopters. Uh, we should probably also think about the path that we have to take. I mean, you know what we also could do? So we could go for fishing. I've never used a nuke in Civ 6. And maybe, you know, maybe we won't have to. Why is this missionary going all the way down here? Well, while I'm on my pilgrimage, I can kick his ass. Alright, our tank is taking a serious beating. Economics but, I mean, is a subject that does He's taking it though, he's not uh he's not flagging. All right, one more of those and the wall should be down. This guy might want to stay close. You know what, let's, uh, let's use him to start converting these other cities. We have to take kind of a roundabout path to them because they're doing things like stationing a wall of scouts nearby. Kuloba is still remarkably terrible, even after we, uh... Actually, you know what? That's enough damage that I think that's worth it. We don't really take a lot of damage doing that. You just heal. Yeah, that city is definitely ours. Alright, her, uh... Her city is now... A believer in the might of turtles. So if we can just get these cities converted to turtles, then we don't even have to worry about the fact that we haven't converted all of this stuff away because there will be no players left who can buy Zoroastrian missionaries. Alright, well I think that's going to be it for this episode. Come back next time. We're taking Spain's capital, and then we'll see. I mean, scientific and domination victory are both still very much on the table. And we'll see you then.